Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our in-demand major webinar series. My name is John Perot, and our major we're focusing on tonight is automotive marketing and automotive aftermarket here at Northwood University. We're so excited that you've taken the time out of your very busy schedule to view our webinar today, and we hope that you'll find a lot of great advice and information from it, and hopefully you'll be interested in at least visiting Northwood University so you can see all of the great things that our campus has to offer. Throughout the webinar tonight, you will have the opportunity to ask your questions. Just use the chat box or the comment box on YouTube. You may need to sign into your YouTube account, but once you do that, you'll be able to ask your questions and we'll answer them toward the end of the webinar. Now, as I said, we are very excited that you are taking the time to learn about why Northwood is a special place and potentially your future home. So again, thank you for exploring this in-demand major series here at Northwood. Your major is ultimately going to describe your specialty and your expertise. And at Northwood, you're going to start experiencing classes in your major during your very first year. And all Northwood majors feature a common business core. And that helps our, all of our graduates become well-rounded leaders in any organization. Now our common business core also sits with dual majors, minors, and many other areas of competency to clearly define who you are and who you want to be. Now most great business schools offer specialty or core business courses, but what ultimately makes Northwood University a different and a much better and more unique choice? Well, we have great faculty, as you'll see tonight, who really care about their students. And our faculty leverage all of their expertise in the real world feel in the real world uh, so that all of our students feel connected and supported and they ultimately serve as mentors and coaches now here at northwood we embrace what we call the northwood idea and what that means is that we believe in the power of free markets and about our code of ethics which most people think of as a breath of fresh air it's an acronym the code ultimately champions freedom and fr it's freedom for all to be able to create opportunity and recognize responsibility for self and for community. And finally, the third key Northwood advantage as we go through tonight is experience. And we encourage all of our students to get out in their field, get their hands dirty, practicing those theories and concepts that all of us have learned in the classroom. All of our students compete, plan signature events, and pursue internships and projects that really add to their resume and their personal profiles. Northwood students are driven, as you'll see tonight, and very passionate about becoming entrepreneurial leaders and help each other improve along the way. Northwood graduates earn a personal advantage that ultimately leads to a positive impact on our global society, as you'll see throughout our presentation tonight. Tonight, we have three key areas we're going to be focusing on. First, we'll talk about the majors. Then we'll talk about the student experience. And finally, we'll wrap everything up with next steps. So without any other introduction, let's go ahead and talk specifically about one major tonight, automotive marketing and automotive aftermarket management. Let me bring on our professor, Michael Kinney. Michael? Thanks, thank thanks John, appreciate that so much. And thank you everyone to, uh, who's joined us tonight. So a couple things we wanna talk about right now are the industry outlook for both the automotive sector and the automotive aftermarket. Uh, the automotive sector is a $1.3 trillion uh, industry here in the United States, and the automotive aftermarket is $210 billion here in the United States, $550 billion worldwide. So what does that mean for our students? It, it means a lot of great things, actually. It means 100% job placement for our graduates uh, when, when they are done with Northwood University. And quite simply, it means that we have more opportunities for our students than we have students to fill those opportunities. So our students are in huge demand around both industries. Uh, and that's a wonderful thing here at Northwood. Uh, most of our students, if we're talking about going to college and getting a job when we're done and not living in mom and dad's basement, uh, our students typically in the automotive and the automotive aftermarket management uh, majors look at graduation somewhere between 65 and $75,000 per year. Uh, and that's right out of college. So it's a, a, a really good opportunity to hit the ground running. And, and we're talking about positions at all levels in both industries. Uh, we're talking about automotive corporate. So that's manufacturers of automobiles and vendors that supply products and services to the automotive marketing sector. And we're talking about automotive retailers. So your, your traditional car dealership franchises. Uh, we're also talking about large companies that provide all the software in the back end uh, to the dealerships. Uh, and we're also talking about automotive aftermarket manufacturers, the, the companies that make the parts for the cars. Uh, distributors, the, the companies that actually distribute the parts all over the world, and then retailers, the big three that you could probably think of are AutoZone, Advanced Auto Parts, and O'Reilly's. 
uh, not to mention some others like Napa and CarQuest. So we, we have students that are going into all walks of business and, and these companies are recruiting us for sales, product management, project management, supply chain positions, business analysts, uh, buyers, and then just overall operations as well. So there's a lot of opportunities for our students. Um, one point to, uh, to add here is that the average car in the United States has risen from 11.8 years to just about 11.9 years in the last year. Uh, and we think that's a good thing, both on the automotive side and the automotive aftermarket side. So we're pretty optimistic that the new car sales will, will remain brisk, especially with the increased hybrids and electric vehicles that are out on the road today. Uh, and, and everybody loves the new electric Hummer that we've seen running around. So it's really a great thing. Uh, we see a revolution happening in the industry uh, and, and it's really exciting. And we're talking about a, a shift in the powertrain from gasoline engines to the new electric vehicles, uh, hybrids and um, compressed natural gas vehicles. So a lot of exciting things that are happening. Uh, new technology driving the vehicles all over the world. And then just the massive amounts of data that the new vehicles uh, are collecting. So it's harnessing those new that data and then shaping future trends for what transportation is going to look like in the future. So on the aftermarket side, sales continue to climb uh, even during a global pandemic. Uh, we've seen that people are relying heavily on their vehicles for transportation. They're getting their vehicles fixed, even though miles driven are down. The industry as a whole is moving forward. So that's some industry outlook for you, John. As far as why Northwood, uh, we jokingly say, why not Northwood uh, in the automotive and after, automotive aftermarket sector? And first, we got to talk about our faculty. Uh, we've got a gentleman named LG Bright, who's the chairman of the automotive marketing uh, curriculum. And he has a legendary reputation. Uh, he, the industry network connections that he, have, he has are unparalleled. And what that allows our students to do is um, gain maximum exposure uh, out in, in the industry. So LG was the number one GM factory rep in the country, and he provides tremendous insights uh, to the ins and outs of how the car dealership and how the, the automobile industry works. And he's also one of the faculty uh, members here on campus who has the highest uh, student um, ratings year after year after year. So the students love him. He's extremely passionate guy, super good guy to be around, knows what he's talking about. And then we have Jennifer Patton, who's on the call with us tonight. Um, Jennifer has successful retail experience as a general manager at a large dealership. She's an entrepreneur uh, in the vendor space, so she provides services to the to the car dealerships and both in merchandising and marketing on the back end. So uh, she's also extremely collaborative with her students. I sat in on one of her sessions yesterday. Uh, she, everything's discussion based. She's got really uh, unique teaching method in the classroom and. That really puts the, um, the focus on the students and it provides them with the, uh, the right experience. And then there's me. I'm an automotive aftermarket guy. Uh, I've been in the business for 30 years. And I'm a North, all three of us are actually Northwood alum, which is something special. And uh, I've traveled all over the world for the automotive aftermarket. I spent seven years in China. Uh, I've done packaging. I've done product development. I've done sales. I've done marketing. Uh, I love the automotive aftermarket. Have since I was 13 years old. And uh, just real, a lot of experience that the three of us bring and, and a passion for helping students. We want to make an impact on our students. Uh, moving on, we, our students have an entrepreneurial spirit and they get to harness that and they get to, they get to develop that over time. We do that through the Northwood University International Auto Show where we bring 50,000 people to, to campus every year. And we do the world's largest outdoor auto show, which is really awesome. We have a Northwood University aftermarket club where the students get to go out and work with, with companies in the automotive aftermarket space. And they actually last year rebuilt a BMW and used all aftermarket connections and parts to get that thing up and running and, and put it back out on the road. This year we've launched a new, a new entrepreneurial uh, endeavor called NU Auto. And it's really about the students on campus taking ownership of, of all the marketing ideas that, that surround our two programs. And we look to roll that out with all students on campus here in the future. Uh, we've got real life opportunities to gain actual hands-on experience. We don't just talk about it in a book. We don't lecture about it. We put the students in charge of it. So I think that's something that is a really great reason to choose Northwood. Uh, and then lastly, why Northwood? And there's many, many other reasons, but um, the internships and the networking. You know, I talked about the auto show, uh, but we also do the 
uh, NADA convention with our students, the APAC SEMA show out in Las Vegas every year, and then <clears throat> the heavy duty aftermarket week where our students go and work with these companies uh, all across the industry, uh, both industries, and they get this hands-on experience that you just can't find in a book or in a classroom. Uh, and we put our students out there on the front lines. So they're, they're making those connections over time. Okay. As far as course experiences go, uh, we have a tremendous course experience. We, we run live simulations on the automotive marketing side where students literally get to run a dealership business uh, for a week. And it's real world problems. It utilizes a lot of critical thinking, a lot of problem solving, uh, things that students are going to need in the future. Project 100 is a very unique uh, program that uh, is, is unique to Northwood. We take uh, 100 alumni, they all donate money, they come up with uh, a certain pot of money, and the students have to design a business program or, or an idea, and they have to develop it from, from uh, you know, it, it's like an incubation, and they have to do it from cradle to grave. And the nice thing about that is the Project 100, you'll see in, on the slide there, uh, there's a car at the bottom of the screen, that's the BMW, uh, that our students utilize here on campus, and they rebuilt that, uh, and and they get to take it to industry shows, cruise ins. They take it down to Detroit. Um, they put that car out in front of future students, and they talk about <clears throat> their experiences uh, working with these companies and bringing that car back to life. So it's a really really special car. And then lastly, you know, the, as far as course experiences go guest speakers from top con uh, the top companies in both industries. And the list is a mile long of, of executives who have given up time to either come to campus or join us online uh, to share their experience with our students about what is it like to work in each of those, those two industries. And it's, it's uh, really a unique place and it's really a, a um, you know, unique course set that we have here at Northwood, and we continue to develop that for what's best for our students in the years to come. Um, and with that, you know, true story, Jen and I were talking yesterday, uh, and she shared with me that at one time we had seven different, <clears throat> excuse me, we had seven different private jets come to campus to to pick up our students for, for job interviews. Uh, <laughs> you don't hear that at many other schools, and uh, certainly not the ones I've been involved with. Uh, so on top of all that, if I'm going to land that plane, we've got really unique opportunities for our students to travel internationally and uh, see the world as it relates to the industry that they are interested in. So those are some of the really unique things that we do here at Northwood, John. Thank you so much, Michael. And as you said, this major is one of our most interactive ones. Honestly, I want to so so much hand, so many hands-on uh, opportunities for students from the auto show to the simulations to the different organizations they can be involved with. It's truly a great experience for students in either one of these majors. And to tell you a little bit more about the majors, um, and tell you a little more or about the student experience and what it's actually like to be a student here on campus, we have two individuals, and we'll start off with Michaela. Michaela. The virtual floor is yours. Thank you, John. Thank you so much. Hi, everyone. My name is Michaela Grombach. I'm a senior here at Northwood University. I decided to come to Northwood because I fell in love with cars at a very young age. And when I visited campus, it was actually during the Northwood International Auto Show. And I instantly fell in love with campus. It was small. It was very homey. And then later, I was learning about the class sizes, how they're small, and I can make a personal connection with my professors and get the one-on-one -on -one experience and help that I may need for future references in the classes. And I'm also a member of the softball team here. And I came on a visit for softball and fell in love with the campus even more, even though I went up to the locker room and the lights went off and the power went out, but it was fine. I still came to campus, still fell in love and graduating this spring, I can't wait to see where the career takes me. Uh, the internship programs that they have here, they're very, very good. Unfortunately, my previous plans for an internship were canceled due to the virus, but I was still able to find an internship. So get help, get as much connections as you can. People will help you and you'll get a very long ways in this opportunity. Awesome. Thank you so much, Michaela. And I'm sure we'll hear more of your stories and experiences as we get to the, the Q&A section as well. So thank you very much. 
At this point, I want to go ahead and bring in our next student. That is Mr. Brian Fick. Brian, the virtual floor is yours. Thank you, John. As uh, introducing myself, I'm a junior here at Northwood University. I'm an aftermarket management major. And pretty much my reason for loving the aftermarket is ever since I was a little kid, I would work with my with my dad in the garage on all different kinds of muscle cars from um, anything from Broncos to Corvettes to Camaros to pretty much anything. That's what made me love the aftermarket industry. And um, from getting to do that, I got to go to Apex SEMA in Las Vegas, which was just an awesome experience of getting to work with companies like Motorrad, Thermostats, and Gas Caps. That was just uh, just an awesome week to be able to see all those builds and everyone in the industry. That was just amazing. As well as getting to work the heavy duty side of, I was also able to go to heavy duty aftermarket week. And that was really just interesting to see. It was a lot more of a personal industry and just a really good experience to see, oh, hey, you're a Northwood student. That's awesome to see. And just everyone's experiences that were there from I'm an alumni to anyone that would really just love to see you as a student there. That was really an, just an awesome experience. Um, and also, I am the aftermarket co-chair for the Northwood Auto Show as after being captain of Motorhead for the last two years. So being able to go out and use all those experiences that I got to use at um, Apex SEMA to HJW, going to those companies and saying, hey, how can I work with you or how can we bring you to the show? How can we bring you to campus and getting other students involved in the major is just another awesome way to see really how my career has been. And for internships, I've worked with AutoZone for over the last year in different stores in the Detroit area that has just been really awesome to see. And even getting to work during the pandemic of seeing how people react and still are keeping their cars on the road and really that that's the kind of transportation that they want and just the projects that people are willing to take on on their own. And from their DIY, like fun hot rod cars to what they're willing to do on their daily drivers is really just interesting to see. And I'm just excited to see where my career from Northwood goes after here and really to see how, how campus is per really um set me up for the future and be able to kind of spread my wings and fly after Northwood. Thank you. Thank you so much, Brian. And as you said, you know, Northwood really does prepare you with a lot of those real life experiences. And as you mentioned, your internship too. I mean, those are great on real life opportunities for students to, to literally get their hands dirty um, and learn about what consumers are demanding and, and how as vendors or in any area, we're able to supply um, to and cater to the needs of those consumers. So at this point, we'll go ahead and bring everybody up and it is now time for our Q&A portion. So this is your opportunity to ask us your questions. We wanna hear from you. Go ahead and chat in the comment box below or to the side, depending on the device you're viewing. Go ahead and chime in your question and we'll be able to answer it live. So let me take off this screen real quick. And we did get one question in here so far and it comes from Chris. Chris is asking, do students ever get to use their personal vehicles to work on? So I honestly, on this one, I'm not sure who to specifically direct it to. So whoever wants to start with it, go ahead and take it away. Like I can kind of answer this one a little bit. So I don't say that we ever like work on our personal vehicles, but with everyone kind of being a car person at the end of the day that, I mean, we've all had our cars that are our project cars from I've had a Mustang to now I have a lifted Ford F-150. So, I mean, it's really kind of everything that you like, you kind of get to meet other people that have kind of in totally different car interest and you kind of will work with them on your car on campus. Oh, hey, there's an O'Reilly's car club night. We'll go there. And, you know, you really kind of get to see and meet everyone who's who's really interested in cars and really interested in the same things that you are. Like, I, I love to be a DIY guy on the weekend. So meet a, other, a lot of other DIY guys on the weekend too. So I say we don't necessarily do it on campus as a class, but a lot of us do have the hobby and do like to share that hobby with each other. And I'll kind of piggyback off of what Brian said, because I know for me, I'll gladly go help one of my friends like, oh, do you want to put a spoiler on? Sure, I'll go help. Oh, want to change my oil? Sure, I'll do that for you. Everyone's just so nice and friendly, even if they're not in a Northwood student. Again, like there's um, like car get togethers, like car meets like everywhere. So people get to know each other, even if they're not a Northwood student. But the car community overall here in Midland is absolutely amazing. And I've met so many new people and made so many new connections. Absolutely, great answers, guys. Michael, did you have something you wanted to add in there? I, you know, you I was gonna do, I was gonna defer to Jen. Jennifer has this brilliant idea for the future about an on-campus dealership. So I'm gonna I'm gonna defer to her because I think it's a it's a really unique and intriguing idea. So one of the visions that we have of growing um, Northwood is to have an actual campus. 
uh, or a dealership on campus where we can um, create real life experiences for students. So um, when I challenged the students in lab, what do you like, what don't you like about classes um, in creating a experience that they wanted, one of the visions that came out of this was that they would like to have a dealership, a mock dealership that they could um, work on vehicles. They could have a lab, like a service department where they could work on it. They could have a service lane where you would have someone on a 85 inch screen that's a professional in an industry, maybe in another state that's mentoring coaching while they're in the real world application. So these ideas and visions that are coming from the students are one of the initiatives that the students are working towards to make happen. So we have a tremendous amount of network and alumni that uh, connect with us and have donated the Sloan building, um, which I'll have uh, Mike Kitty talk about was something that was created in the same way where there is a vision um, and then the partners and the connections got together. So our students are actually empowered and working with us to create this vision of something that they want. So coming to Northwood isn't just about attending a class and taking a quiz and getting a test. It's coming and seeing if I want something and I want to build it, how do I do it? So um, as the faculty, it's our job to help coach, develop and lead the vision that the students have. And so right now, that's one of the current initiatives that we're working on is helping getting that that executed amongst many other things. So um, I think talking about the Sloan building, though, um, Mike would be a, would be a good segue. Yeah, I, the Sloan building is an amazing building. It was basically donated by Temple Sloan the third, and his fortune came from CarQuest. Uh, he started CarQuest and, and ended up buying all of CarQuest, eventually sold it out to Advanced Auto Parts, and that's where my office is. That's where I'm currently sitting right now. It is one of the most beautiful academic buildings that I've ever seen. We, we have several. I'm looking across the way to, to the plaster building. Uh, and, and our buildings are unbelievable. But when you walk into my building here in the Sloan building, there's a big rotunda where you first walk in and there are um, tremendous amount of support came to build this building. Um, companies like AutoZone, Advanced Auto Parts, O'Reilly's, manufacturers like uh, Standard Motor Product. I'm gonna forget somebody, that'll be really embarrassing. Standard Motor Products, um, you know, um, see, there you go. Uh, but just, probably 50 companies on the wall around the rotunda that helped build this building all for the automotive aftermarket and the automotive the automotive industry so it's it's a really unique building uh, a lot of hands-on here and again what brian says we don't necessarily work on cars here but we talk about what's going on in the automotive industry on gen side we talk about what's going on in the aftermarket what are the current trends what are the current issues uh, how are companies navigating things like COVID with supply chain issues globally that's a hot topic for us right now. We talk about legislation uh, in Massachusetts. They just passed issue one, which was the right to repair. So those are the things our students are learning and, and the, student, the things that the students are taking out into the industry with them uh, as they graduate. And they are so much further ahead than students from other schools when it comes to the automotive aftermarket and the automotive industry in general. Our, I know our automotive marketing students are are brilliant and bright and they're going off to do great things on that side of the the automotive industry at the end of the day we all love cars whether we like that they go fast we, we like them lifted we like them slammed we like them cut we like them you know we like them beefed up we like them bored out it doesn't matter they're cars and we and that's one of the things i love about working with jen and lg on the automotive marketing side is we just all love cars um, i don't know how to work on cars but i know i know how to sell car parts all right. And that's important in this industry. Absolutely. So I think you actually answered Colin's question. He was asking about how does the program adjust and adapt with the increasing number of electric cars. And, I'm, you know, I don't want to make an assumption, but based on what you just said, you know, you guys really adapt and adjust the curriculum as things go on. It's not just going to be stuff that's found in a textbook. You're actually taking the concepts that are happening in the real world as they happen uh, and applying those concepts because you both have such great uh, field experiences. Jen, I see you raising your yeah, Jen's dying. I know she's going to talk about blowing stuff up. So the go ahead, Jen. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so obviously, there's a major shift in our industry right now. It's a revolution. And if you ha actually attended the Hummer reveal, it was incredible. 
um, the amount of people that were on there, they actually crashed the site. There was so much interest in this vehicle. And there was a deposit button for a $112,000 vehicle with a thousand horsepower for an electric vehicle, an electric vehicle with a thousand horsepower. Who doesn't want to hit the button to buy it? But it was already, by the time I tried to buy it, it was sold out <laughs> here out of like Gen. So that's a lot of excitement, right? That's people and customers going, I love this. So as an industry, we have to adjust ourselves and go, well, if that's what the customer wants, how are we going to match what they're looking at? Now, all the manufacturers are focusing on the, the new revolution. There's a lot of startups that are talking about the new revolution. So what we're focusing on is how do we get ahead of that? How do we how do we focus our dealership, the way we're running our business? Um, and, and so it's education. And, and one of the most important things, I think, is we have an industry publication on our side and, and, and there's an aftermarket as well as automotive that has constant updated articles on what's happening in the industry. And so that becomes part of our curriculum. What, what got thrown out there today? Oh, this CEO did that. Oh, this came out. Um, this manufacturer did this. Uh, California says by 2035, you can't buy a gas powered vehicle. Okay, let's talk about that. What are you gonna do? How are we gonna handle it? So in, in my courses, we role play that out. We have discussion. I throw it out to you, the students give it back to me. Um, we had a discussion about Lexus and the brand and who are they and what do they stand for and there was so much engagement from the students i actually had to say please stop there's too many people talking at once can we take turns because they were passionate and by the time we started with the question of what is lexus brand we got to it within 50 minutes the students are so intelligent and so smart from a business perspective that all they needed to do was have a little bit of guidance from me to direct the conversation and they came up with a solution on their own so that's the kind of engagement that you have in all th within all three of our classes and then there, there's adjuncts too that work within um both of our programs all of us are industry professionals so we're bringing a perspective to you from the industry as well as pulling in what's new you know, the new stuff that's coming that we have to be prepared for and preparing you to make decisions as leaders and marketers um, on how to manage those things. Great. Thank you so much for that. Mm -hmm. um, we did get another question in, and this talks a little bit about internships. So, Michaela, I'm going to refer this one to you. Tell us about some of the things you learned in your internships and tell us, you know, where you where you got your internship, how even though your first one was canceled, how you found that other one and hopefully how Northwood will be able to support you in that process. Okay, so unfortunately, it wasn't in the automotive industry, but it was also kind of tied into Northwood itself. Uh, my internship was at Fleetwood Group Incorporated, and they make um, office furniture and like class utility furniture, like shelving, desks, and whatnot. And kind of off topic a little bit, in the new idea center that Northwood just opened up, um, Fleetwood actually made a couple of desks and cupboards for the idea center. So it was good to see like the manufacturing process and then the end results and where all these um, uh, furniture pieces go. And it was really interesting to already have some of the background knowledge of what goes into making a product and then how it's sold and how it's like, advertised and managed. And it was really interesting to work there for the summer and gain more knowledge. Absolutely. And I love that you mentioned, you know, you have that business core. So even if if a crazy pandemic happens, your skills that you learned in your aftermarket and your automotive, I should say automotive in general classes, can be applied to other areas other than just automotive. So I think that's that's really, really great. Thank you so much for that. Um, one quick question to to kind of wrap everything up for us there's a lot of degrees out there. There's a lot of majors out there. I'd love to hear one sentence from each of you as to why someone should choose an automotive major at Northridge University. So let's go ahead and start with Brian on this one. All right, for one sentence, that's gonna be kind of hard to slim it down to that, but I would say really just the aftermarket, there's kind of nowhere where you can't go with it. You pretty much have every avenue possible to go. And there's nothing that's really going to stop you in that industry from, you know, going to the top that it's just, it's an awesome industry. And there's, there's no, there's, you can't hold back any of your potential. You can pretty much go wherever Great. you Michaela. want in the industry. Michaela, you're muted. Thank you. Um, one sentence is going to be hard, but especially for being a woman in a male dominant world, um, we can do a lot of things. We can do 
many, many things just in the automotive industry itself. And Northwood will push you to your full ex full extent to be able to make choices and survive and thrive. Absolutely. Michael, let's go to you. Yeah, so I, I love that question. One sentence, I could, I could write a book, but let's go with this. A degree from Northwood University in this curriculum, the automotive marketing, the automotive aftermarket management curriculum is going to provide you with unlimited potential for an amazingly fulfilling career, plain and simple. And finally, Jennifer. I can say it in one word, money. <laughs> when you graduate from Northwood, the amount of money that you make right out of college is incredible. I was making a six figure income right out of college 20 years ago, guys. So when I tell you the money is there, it's because there's a demand for your education. There is a huge demand and people are willing to pay for it. So if you want to make money, <laughs> you should get an education in automotive. Awesome. 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 Real quick, we do have two questions that are somewhat related to each other. So I just want to throw them up real quick. Um, we have one question from Colin. He asks, in either program, do you work on setting up the events, event planning, or buyer driver experiences? Um, so that is yes, a yes, and a yes. Um, Brian, do you want to talk very, very, we're slow on time, but very quickly um, about that piece of it and if how it ties to the automotive show? So yeah, show. Sure on that one so pretty much for setting up all these events like going to apex sema even to like our northwood auto show we all work hands-on with the from the suppliers to the manufacturers to setting up the final event to working the event to doing pretty much everything in that from the auto show we hold on campus to sema apex working with those companies out there you're out there working the booth you're setting up you're helping them get every everything done possible so pretty much, yes. And no matter what event you're working with, with at Northwood, you're helping in all of those parts. Great. And I think that also answers Chris's question. He asks about working with dealers in the area. The answer to that is yes, as well. Um, through the auto show, we work with dealerships that are very local. We have lots of students who get internships at the local dealerships as well. Um, both for the summer, winter, uh, every, every season, I guess you could say, we always have students working with our local dealerships. So thank you very much for that question. Um, all right. At this point, we want to thank you all so much for joining us. For next steps, there's two big things that you can do to help progress yourself as you consider Northridge University. The first of those is to schedule a campus visit. Honestly, we know from students that scheduling a campus visit and getting on campus in person is the best opportunity for you to be able to, to see the entrepreneurial spirit and feel the passion and energy, if you can't already tell, uh, from our professors and our students. So the best opportunity is to visit on campus. We are following all COVID-19 protocol and we do have virtual visits as well if that's an option for you. So to schedule one of those, just go to northwood.edu edu slash visit. And then the second piece is that if you are a senior or you're considering transferring transferring to Northridge University, you can apply to Northridge University. Our applications are open for the fall of 2021. Just go to northwood.edu slash apply. With that, thank you all so much for joining us tonight. Be sure to stay safe out there and we hope to see you all on campus real soon. Thanks everybody.